Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can use Alexa to grow your opt-in email list. And I'm gonna be using SendGrid. That's where our list is hosted, but this general approach would work if you're using MailChimp or some other uh, email list management service, as long as there's an API. This is gonna be a little bit different than uh, some of the other tutorials that I've done in that I'm doing this tutorial before I actually have the template available for download. So we've published a skill that uses this code that is here, and we will be publishing a template, although the template that we're gonna be publishing for this uh, is a premium template. So it'll be one of the first templates that we've ever published that is actually got a fee associated with it, and that's because we're gonna also be providing support for this template as well. But if you watch this tutorial through the end, I'll tell you how you can get the template for free. And actually, I'll tell you right now, all you need to do is use the skill to subscribe to our email list and you'll be able to get the template for free as soon as we release it, which should be in the, uh, the next couple of weeks, um, worst case, maybe, maybe even next week. So basically, here's how it works. Um, if you go to... To, to get here, this is in the Alexa skill store right now, but to get here, if you just go to dabblelab.com slash skill, like that, it'll redirect you to the, uh, the skill in the Amazon skill store. And then you're gonna wanna enable the skill like this. And it's gonna ask for permission to access your email address and your full name. And the permissions, the, the Customer Settings API, which I've covered in earlier tutorials, is what's giving us permission to the email address and full name. You could also do this using account linking, but it's a little bit more uh, involved for the user. And although right now users do need to either go through the web interface or the Alexa companion app to enable these permissions, um, I hope that these will be permissions that you can enable via voice soon, like with the um, I did a tutorial recently on using alarms and um, reminders, and both of those now you can just say with your voice um, yes to enable it, and I, I hope that that will be true here. And if it is, it'll make this process a lot smoother, but for right now you need to uh, enable permissions. And then once the skill is enabled, you can just say Alexa, open Dabble Lab. Hello. Welcome to the Dabble Lab Email Subscription Manager. You can use this skill to subscribe or unsubscribe from the Dabble Lab email list. To subscribe, just say subscribe me, or to unsubscribe, you can say remove me. Alexa, stop. Goodbye. Okay, so um, as I mentioned, I'm using SendGrid as the, uh, the list manager. So what's going to happen when I say subscribe or unsubscribe is it's either going to add me, I set up a, a list just for this skill. And if you're watching this, the the skill itself just got approved like the day before yesterday. So there's nobody that's actually used it other than me to subscribe yet. So if you use it to subscribe, you'll be one of the very first that uh, that does. How exciting. So um, yeah, so I'll show you. Um, the, the only subscription in there right now is just the one I, that I used as a test with my personal email, but I've got my Echo device set up with my Dabble Lab email address. So I'm gonna use the skill and you'll see when I refresh this page, I'll have added the, uh, the contact here. So we'll go do that. Alexa, open Dabble Lab. Hello. Welcome to the Dabble Lab Email Subscription Manager. You can use this skill to subscribe or unsubscribe from the Dabble Lab email list. To subscribe, just say subscribe me, or to unsubscribe, you can say remove me. Subscribe me? Okay, I've added Steve at DabbleLab.com to the Dabble Lab email list. If you ever want to unsubscribe, just say, Alexa, tell Dabble Lab to remove me. Okay, so now if I refresh, slow refresh, but now you can see Steve at DabbleLab.com has been added to the Dabble Lab 
email list, or the, this is actually just a list. In SendGrid, you can create multiple lists, and this is a list that I've set up just for the, uh, the Alexa uh, skills subscriptions. And when somebody opts out, they get added to a suppression list, which is basically an opt-out list. And you can see right now that I'm not on the opt-out list, but if I say, Alexa, open Dabble Lab. Hello, welcome to the Dabble Lab email subscription manager. You can use this skill to subscribe or unsubscribe from the Dabble Lab email list. To subscribe, just say subscribe me, or to unsubscribe, you can say remove me. Remove me? Okay, I've removed Steve at DabbleLab.com from the Dabble Lab email list. If you ever want to subscribe again, just say, Alexa, tell Dabble Lab to opt me in. Okay, so now if I refresh, I can see that I've been added to the unsubscribe list or opted out. And so that's it. it is, uh, it's a pretty straightforward skill, but there's um, a, a little bit of code behind it that uh, we just wanted to, to clean up before releasing it as a template. And as I mentioned, this will be a uh, one of our premium templates, so it'll include support. But if you use the skill to subscribe to our email list prior to us releasing the template, which should be, I think, in the next week or two, uh, we'll give you a copy of the template for free. And if you have any questions about how the uh, the template works now or uh, after we release it, you can leave those in the comments and I'll respond just as quickly as possible. Hopefully this was helpful. Like I said, a little different than my normal tutorial, but I thought uh, focusing on how Alexa might be used to actually create value, building an email list in this case, might be something that you're interested in. So. Thank you so much. Again, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave those and I will respond just as quickly as possible.